Hey, Kevin. Hey, Mark. Welcome to South Carolina Aquarium. How are you? I'm doing well today. Good. Welcome. I've heard a lot of great things about this place. Uh, I've been dying to see it. Can we go take a look? Let's go take a look at the All exhibits. Right. Here at the South Carolina Aquarium, we're essentially focusing on local animals that are uh, found in South Carolina. The whole um, idea is to really have a complete ecosystem rather than just single species tanks. So when you walk in, you get blasted by this. This is incredible. What are we looking at? We're looking at Carolina Seas. This is the uh, the first exhibit you see here in our uh, Great Hall, the South Carolina Aquarium. We've got uh, uh, triple tail up top around here. We've got uh, yeah. angelfish, uh, look down. Yeah. Uh, it's just a really nice uh, introduction to uh, the species you're going to find here within the state. And tarpon. That's cool. And tarpon, oh, absolutely. Tarpon. Right. Uh, there's a very uh, elusive green moray that lives in here as well. Yeah. Wow. So here at the aquarium, it's not just about saltwater, though. There's also um, exhibits that cover every single habitat found within South Carolina. E exactly. The, the, uh, the theme here at the aquarium is from the mountains to the sea. We start at the upstate of South Carolina, work all of our way down to, uh, to the ocean here. So uh, let's go take a look at the, uh, the mountains that you'd find awesome. here in the upstate. What we try to do here is to inspire people through seeing a habitat and realizing what sorts of animals there are in there and being able to really interact with them. A lot of our exhibits focus towards what people can do to help conserve these particular habitats. So Kevin, this is obviously a very different environment here at the aquarium. This is. This is what we call the, uh, the Mountain Forest Exhibit. Um, this is one of our most popular exhibits here for us. Uh, the otter is kind of right behind us here, uh, a very playful uh, couple of creatures. We'll feed them kind of enrichment throughout the day. We uh, have uh, certain vitamins and minerals that we need to feed them. This must be one of the more popular exhibits, being otters as playful as they are. Otters, they're, they're a playful crowd, and, and kids just love them. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, what's up next? Uh, we're going to head out to the uh, salt marsh. Cool. Kevin, this is one that I absolutely love. This is a salt marsh, isn't it? You can tell it's got two of my favorite fish to catch, redfish and snook. They, uh, they're a lot of fun. Actually, I caught one just the other day. Uh, in addition, kind of you look around here, we have uh, uh, diamondback terrapins crawling around, and kind yep. of a green heron in the back here. Yep. Um, it's really the sights and sounds of the, uh, the shore here right off the uh, South Carolina. Wow, it's beautiful. I mean, and to have it outside, to have it indicative of the species you can catch here all the time, yeah, it's it, perfect. It, it's really kind of what we call an immersion exhibit where we really want to make people feel like they are within the actual uh, um, nature itself out on the outside. Oh, this place is amazing. Yeah, fantastic. So the exhibits here at the aquarium are spectacular, but this is out of this world. This is our largest exhibit here at the uh, South Carolina Aquarium. Uh, this is what we call our Great Ocean Tank. Uh, it's just uh, around 385,000 gallons. Wow. You've got all kinds of fish in here. You've got permit, amberjacks, triple tail. We've got some uh, barracuda up there barracuda. as well, some uh, green moray eels. We even have a, a loggerhead sea turtle in this tank as well. You've got everything. Yeah, it's a real uh, rich uh, biodiversity uh, of the, uh, the deep water here off the coast of South Carolina. Were these fish caught here in South Carolina? Yeah, Washington? over 90% uh, over of all the species found here at the South Carolina Aquarium, we actually collected ourselves. You know, Kevin, I couldn't help but notice that you're wearing a hat that actually says the Sea Turtle Rescue South Carolina Aquarium. Is there a rescue facility here? There is. We actually have that down in the basement of the aquarium. Let's, uh, let's go take a look. Okay. Wow, look at this. Yeah, this uh, this is South Carolina Aquarium's Sea Turtle Hospital. It's where we uh, take care of uh, sick and injured sea turtles throughout the uh, southeast uh, United States, right right here in South Carolina. Come here for uh, some good uh, rehabilitation. A lot of these uh, turtles are uh, boat strikes from here around the, uh, the region. We really kind of take care of these for right. the, uh, about a year or two until uh, the ultimate goal is to release them back into the wild. So what kind of turtles are native to this area? The uh, loggerhead's the most popular one. Right. Uh, green sea turtles here we find in South Carolina as well as Kemp's Ridley. We have all three in the hospital right now. It's a uh, pretty full hospital. Is that a loggerhead? This is a loggerhead. This is the uh, the largest one we have in here right now, just over uh, 325 pounds. Uh, Mama Pritchard. Wow, look at this. That's remarkable. Oh, look, he's uh, hit by a boat. Yeah, as you can kind of see, uh, these kind of uh, lines kind of coming across her uh, carapace here, which is uh, her shell. Right. You kind of see where the actual propeller uh, went along uh, and kind of did the uh, damage to her shell. The ultimate goal is, is to get her back out here either late this summer or early next year. Oh, there it goes. 